hello, my first graders. We just had some first class thievery. <laughs> I had two threes up here for OJ and Sherbert Cop. <laughs> what a wonderful way to start our math for Friday, April 24, huh? All right. OJ, you want to come up here? What, honey? Oh, she's out on, Lynn's out on the patio. Apparently a bird just flew past her and it scared her. There's a big crash out there while I was recording the kindergarten one, but as long as everybody's okay, we're good. Okay. All right. So we've been talking about measurement, standard, non-standard ways to measure. So like a measuring tape, a yardstick, ruler, um, those are going to be your standard or normal official ways to measure. You can use things like paper clips. We used counting bears and links yesterday. Um, you can use goldfish crackers if you want to. Um, so those would all be non-standard or your not normal ways of um, measuring, okay? All right. So if I wanted to measure crayon, so let me tilt it down here, okay? I have a crayon. I want to measure it with paper clips, okay? I'm going to measure it. Let's see. Oh, good. Yep, my crayon is three paper clips long. Yep, one, two, three, they're all shoved in here. Is there something wrong with how I've measured? Yes, there is definitely something wrong with how I've measured. The paper clips are overlapping. That breaks one of our rules. My paper clips are all the same size. They were all touching, but they were overlapping. Okay, so they need to be, I need to have it at the end of my crayon. Right there, so it turns out a crayon is only two paper clips long, okay? So remember those rules when you are measuring. Doesn't matter if it's with standard or non-standard methods of measuring, you still have to follow those rules, okay? And what were those rules? Use the same, well, um, no spaces, okay? If you're using Paper clips, they can't be spaced apart. They have to be touching. You must start from the same point. So this is your invisible line. You're measuring something here. It's gotta be starting from the same spot here. It can't start from over here, okay? Um, your items that you're measuring with, they must be the same size. So I can't use a smaller paper clip. I have to use all large paper clips. And rule number four is that they cannot be overlapping, okay? So remember those rules, all right? So today we're going to work on non-standard measurement, okay? So you're going to need your math paper that has seeds down here at the bottom, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are actually going to cut off this ruler right here, okay? Very, very carefully, we're going to cut off this ruler, okay? Go slowly, don't cut off a whole bunch of it, otherwise you're not gonna have much of a ruler, okay? So cut that off, that's all you need to do, okay? And now we're going to use this to draw the correct stem lengths on our flowers, okay? So we need to make sure we're starting from the same point. We're not gonna draw a stem over here and then a stem going that way and this one that way and this one right there. No, we're gonna do them all straight down, okay? So when you're looking at a ruler, you've got lines and you've got numbers, whether it's one from 
a practice page or a standard ruler or yardstick. And you're gonna to wanna to start where the numbers are the smallest. And technically this spot right here is a zero. That is your starting point. We're not gonna start with the 12, no, no, no. We're gonna start with the one, okay? And we're gonna have our starting point be right here in between those two petals. So I'm gonna take this line right here and I'm gonna make it touch right here. And this is where it's helpful to not cut this out. I'm gonna hold this right here with my finger. Now, if it still feels really unsteady, you can get something like scissors and lay it down to hold that end. Or maybe you're working with your grown up um, and you could say, hey, could you please hold the bottom of my ruler? And I'm sure they'll be more than happy to, okay? So now we're going to draw the line that is the correct length for each flower. So this one here says nine seeds long. So that means our line is gonna go all the way down here where it says nine. So I'm gonna put a little dot right there to remind me that that's where I'm stopping. And I'm gonna very carefully trace right there and then stop when I get to my dot, okay? All right, not too bad as long as you do your best. Okay, now let's do this one. So I'm aiming for right there to be my starting point. Now this one is six seeds long. Okay, so I'm gonna put my scissors right there. I'm gonna put my dot right there at the six. Okay, and now I'm going to draw my line. Okay, this one is five seeds long. So I'm gonna find my starting point. There's my dot right there. And, and you should be using a pencil, remember that. I'm using a marker so you can see. There's three seeds long, so a little baby stem. And boop. And then there we go. Okay, this one is 11 seeds long. So I'm gonna go down here. Woo! I'm gonna mark my 11. Now this one is really long, so I'm gonna do it in little bitty lines. So I'm nice and straight, okay? Ta-da! As our fav one of our favorite bakers on YouTube says <laughs> when she's done. All right, now the next page. Now we've got our different items and they are measured with cubes, okay? You're going to measure these by counting and coloring the cubes, okay? I'm gonna try and scoot you in a little more and there we go, that should be a good view and I'll help you with the first row here. Okay, so we have a hat, okay, and we're, oh, that's good. And I'm only marking, remember when we did that with our 10 frames? Yeah, we didn't just start coloring, we made little lines first. Because we're not gonna just sloppily color them through. So I colored one, two, three, four. So my hat is four cubes long. Okay, another way you could do it is find the end of your item and drag your finger down and color that one. And then trace all of this because that's the end that you're gonna color. Okay, how many cubes was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Never remember how to do a nine upside down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then our spoon. One, two, three, four, five. So, well, here's my line. So I'm going to color up to, oh, you can't really see. Oop. I'm going to color up to right. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. All right. The rest of these you should be able to do just fine on your own. She heard me. Hi. You want to say hi? No, not really, but here she is. You guys always get to see OJ. Here's Sherbert. Here's Sherbert. She's not happy with me. Hi, Sherbert. Say hi. Are you grumpy? You're grumpy. I hate being picked up. I just want to be left alone. She was grooming herself. Cats don't like to be bothered when they're grooming. I have to give her hugs. She's so pretty. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> All right. So have fun. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> now she's sitting. Now she's realized if she's up here with me, she'll get attention, <laughs> which she's been trying to get all day long. Yeah. So have a wonderful Friday. Have a nice weekend. It's supposed to be very warm. Um, and that is going to be great for our seeds. So I will be doing an update for science over this weekend. So keep watching for notifications on YouTube. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys later.